Welcome, Dr. Joost Hosemans. Uh, well, audience, Joost Hosemans uh, is a postdoctoral research fellow at Technical University uh, Delft, Netherlands, commonly known as uh, TU Delft. And uh, Joost actually made all the infrastructure that is required for this course to make everything open source and using open source technologies and bring the entire infrastructure to the community. So Yoast, uh, thanks a lot for this one-to-one -one meeting. And uh, yeah, and I hope that you can give some uh, little bit of overview of the development process and everything to the audience. And I hope the audience will enjoy that. Sure, yeah, thanks. Sure, so Yost, uh, uh, what is Fletcher? I know that uh, you people used uh, Fletcher uh, to bring this course to the community. Uh, so what is Fletcher and how is it related to Open Capi in this course context? Right, so yeah, uh, Fletcher, uh, it's a framework uh, and it, it was actually uh, programmed uh, mostly by uh, my colleague uh, Johan, who's doing the Apache Arrow uh, lecture and labs. Uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a framework that allows uh, big data analytics frameworks uh, to talk to FPGAs. So um, when we talk about uh, heterogeneous systems, um, it's all about um, making sure that all the components have access to the same memory in a coherent, uh, transparent way. And um, Apache Arrow takes care of that on the software side and OpenCAPI uh, is the hardware side of that. Now, um, Fletcher combines these two uh, for use with uh, FPJ accelerators. So um, this is basically making something that's very difficult, normally very difficult, uh, which is integrating FPGA accelerators into big data analytics frameworks and applications and makes it more or less very easy. Uh, and the reason that this is difficult is that uh, these analytics frameworks, they're all about increasing programming, programming productivity. And they do that by raising abstraction levels. Um, but the FPGA side of the story is much more low level. It's all about bits and bytes and a very low level uh, development effort. So the distance between those two is very large and Fletcher helps to bridge that. I see. So you are saying that if the big data developer starts using Fletcher, then without any code modification, they can, I mean, they can write the code easily. And not only that, but without any code modification, they can just run the code on an FPGA environment. Is that correct? Is my understanding correct? So that, that is, that is the, the final vision, but we're not there yet. Uh, we're working towards that. Uh, but currently what is being completely automated is the whole um, interfacing infrastructure so all of the interfaces, both on the software side and on the hardware side are being generated for your big data application by just presenting it with the data layout. And then if you have an accelerator design uh, or you have an IP core, uh, then you can easily integrate it into a big data application or a framework. Uh -huh. I understood. So yeah, all the best for your development uh, process. So uh, now, the Tell me like, uh, well, uh, we have learned a little bit about the Fletcher. So who are the targeted audience? Means who can be actually benefited with the Fletcher? Is it only the big data analytic developer or there are some other audiences too? Yeah, so I think that uh, both sides uh, can be helped by using Fletcher, the, the software people and the hardware people. So uh, if you're a software person and you're working on uh, an analytics pipeline and you want to try uh, acceleration, then it, it really helps you to get started um, because then you don't have to dig through all of the uh, low level details of trying to figure out how to connect your FPGA to your application. Uh, 
and the hardware uh, people they can for example if they have uh, if they have an uh, an ip core that they've uh, developed or they have some kind of an accelerator design then they can easily connect it to uh, software frameworks that are used by millions of data science scientists and other people uh, around the world okay so that's uh, great and uh... Well, you told that this is still an ongoing process that you described the final vision of the Fletcher also. So uh, I'm pretty sure the audience are, audiences are excited to know if uh, you, you can share some development experience with them. Uh, for example, like let's say any feature or any hurdle uh, that you want to mention in particular, or like um, how did you make this entry entire process available to the community. I know there were several licensing issues and lots of different things. So would you like to share that experience with the audience a little bit? Yeah, so I think the, the, the first thing is that um, OpenCopy makes our life a lot easier um, because um, it takes away all kinds of um, difficulties in integrating um, on the hardware side with uh, with a host uh, with a host CPU uh, and we, we've gained some experience with it using using it for a couple of years now and um, yeah it's it, it's really a step forward from uh, from previous um, interfaces like uh, PCI Express and what we've learned during the development um, of, uh, of, of Fletcher and also coming into contact with the big data uh, world is that um, programmers in big data are already changing a little bit how they are uh, programming computers by moving from stating how they want a computer to solve a problem towards just stating what they want from the computer, like a query or a transformation that they want to uh, apply and then letting the framework figure out how to do it. Um, and I, I think that's a direction that we are going to continue in. And for, for us, Fletcher is not just a tool that allows uh, us to connect an FPGA to a computer or to an application, but it, it's about um, changing the way we build and program computers in the future. And um, in the end, you know, heterogeneous systems, hopefully they will uh, figure out themselves how and where they are going to perform certain parts of the computations, right? They're going to run everything on the component that is that is best suitable for the particular task uh, and, and do all of that automatically. And OpenCAPI is, uh, I think, represents an important step towards that direction. And, uh, and and Fletcher is, is is just our contribution to that uh, to that journey to that uh, to that vision. So of course uh, we uh, we wanted to make it uh, publicly available, uh, open source uh, technology, and we, we're very happy that uh, that it helps people um, and that it, uh, it it does have uh, it, it it did get some attention from uh, from certain people that are sharing the vision that uh, that we have so we're, we're very enthusiastic about that sure uh thanks uh dr huseman and uh for sharing your wonderful journey and uh we wish all the best for your vision with the Fletcher. And we believe that in future, the community will uh, get more development from you and your group, which can improve the performance of the big data development and the hardware, uh, help the hardware system designers. And well, and uh, thanks a lot for developing the infrastructure for this course. And uh, thanks a lot for sharing your views. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the interview and uh, have a great day.